Okay, Lee, we're going to talk about this run. This is your first run in the go round of the four year old amateur. And Craig and I are talking about a black cow that we want you to cut. So as you walk into the herd, one of the things that I want you to do is not pump your hand. And I want you to make sure you know what cow we're talking about before you start forward. So I'm pointing the cow out to you. You're looking at it. But right here, you're pumping your hand an awful lot, which you don't need to do. I'm going to stop this film right here. So you've made about 10 steps, and in those 10 steps, you've pumped your hand about four times. And that doesn't, it looks, doesn't look very good, number one, as a showmanship technique. And also, you're giving mix, mixed signals to your horse. When these horses that are trained uh, walk through a herd of cattle, they're not used to somebody pumping that hand. So they're not sure if they're supposed to go forward, stop, pause, what, what's going on. So you want to keep your hand as low and as quiet and as smooth as possible. Okay, so you've got your eye on the black cow that we want to cut. One of the other things that we're going to say is you're going to keep your eyes forward and looking around in case the cow what we're talking about doesn't feel good, doesn't act good once it gets to the top. Then we're going to make sure that we cut a cow clean and in the middle of the pen. So here we go. Okay, and you've got your cow spotted. It's a little black cow coming to the outside. And right here, you have your horse in pretty good position. She's facing the cow. You're looking at the cow. All this is look really good. Now, and right now is when you really need to start making your move to go forward and to separate this cow from the rest of the cows. Right here, you start waving your hand. That one little move that you made with your hand causes you to let this cow get away from you. This cow now, because of the way you were facing it before, should be walking away and instead it's walking across the front of you. You had a perfect opportunity to make this cow actually step away from you and look towards the judges stands and away from the herd and as it is because you waved your hand instead of being very steady and, and making this cow walk away from you, you've let her come across the pen. So now we have a tangled cut. And I I think this cut could have been a beautiful, clean cut in the middle of the pen, and I think right now you're costing yourself a point. Or just in run content, instead of having a check plus cut or a check cut, you're going to have a check minus cut or a minus cut because of this cut. Okay, and it worked out very good. But again, it's not a great cut. I'm going to stop it again. The first turn, you're leaning with your body instead of using your feet to get across the cow. So again, it's very distracting for a horse and it's not a pretty a picture as you want it to be. Very good. Keep your upper body still. Use your feet. Don't turn your horse with your body. Let the cow turn your horse and you keep riding across. Better. Got control of the cow, a nice legal quit in the middle of the pen. You put the cow back to the middle of the pen before you quit it. Very good. Right here, stop. We want to find your cow. Good. Make sure you know where you're going and what you're doing before you start forward. And we've got another black cow that we want to cut. And again, you really want to make sure you walk forward. Walk forward to your cat. Walk forward to your cut. Separate your cow from the other cows. Again, you went across your cut instead of straight to the cow. It worked out. This cow is a good cow. A little short to the right, a little long to the left. All the way, get there. Better. Good, stop that cow with your feet. There you go, better. Nice quit, brought your cow back to the middle of the pen again, and that was really good. Okay, you gotta finish this run nice and strong. Again, we're, we're looking at a, 
a, a decent run, a nice run, your horse looks good. There's some things that you could do to make this run even better. And the two main things is you cut that clean, that cow clean dead center of the pin and you create the separation yourself. Here we go, we've got 15 seconds on the clock. We need to finish strong. We need to be aggressive right here. Up and to the outside, nice, there we go. There's the cut we're looking for. Good. A little short this way again, there we go, better. Good, the buzzer went off. So, good, your horse is good. Everything about that run, we have a lot of positives, but we could have made this run even better had you been stronger on those cuts and a little bit more accurate with your feet.